All right, I just wanted to highlight and document um, something that I came across with the, uh, the brother. Really not overly complex. Um, I thought I was gonna have to edit the post, so I just wanted to kind of go through how to get there, what to do if you need to. I ended up not. Um, it was actually a feature in Fusion that, that was cool. Um, but just kind of show you my, my process to get there. So what was happening is, anytime I posted from Fusion with that brother post, it would the, the last line would be you know GPT-3, and it would take it to the, the machine X0, Y0, which was inconvenient because it's, it's way over to the left. If I have something in the device, I had to manually jog back. I got to where I was editing it in the machine controller, and then eventually, before I would send it to the machine, I would just edit this file. Um, and I, I kind of kept putting it off because I thought I was gonna have to edit the post. Um, so I went in, you know, if you look here, um, here's the, the post processor I'm using. So if you go to your post library, here it is local, and I, I don't really remember, but I think, I think it has to be a local, um, so not just in the Fusion 360 Cloud Lab, but I think you have to get it locally in your machine if you want to edit it. But this is, so I, I put it in the local here. Go to edit, um, it'll open up the, uh, in my case, Visual Studio Code, because that's my default browser. Um, but again, at, at this point, I thought I was gonna have to edit the post still. So um, I did a search for GPT-3, just because that was on that line. First hit is here, uh, went through, and there was one down here, this retract access and this right retract, which um, when you look here at the comment, obviously is the correct place, but just to kind of double verify, uh, if we go back up to where it was found, this safe position method is in the um, user find properties. So just to double check, I wanted to see where this uh, safe position method was used, just in case and it actually took us to the same. So I know I'm in the right place, right? We've got the right retract, which obviously makes sense because it's, it's probably the last move and it talks about the home positions here. So uh, this is a hit on GPT-3, it's talking about the, the Z axis, but then here, obviously, define home positions, that's what we want. Y was kind of fine because I could deal with anything on Y, but it was the X that just would send it to zero. Um, so I thought I'd be editing something here and then you get on X and you see this, um, on this machine configuration, has home position, um, get home position. And then essentially if it doesn't have that, use zero. So then I remembered um, that, that Fusion recently started using these uh, machine libraries, which I had set up. So now in here, um, on my brother machine, I end up, okay, obviously if this is a variable, it's coming from somewhere. And it makes sense that you're not having to edit that in the post. So I ended up finding it here in this home position. So I would just do negative 27 inches and that works for me. So any, any setup, um, I'm kind of bunked here, but, but anyway, so, this is where the post is. If you need to edit it, you know, make a copy. Um, this is how you get to it. So any, anytime I'm posting from, from Fusion 360 to the Brother Speedio, this is the actual post library it's using. So be careful in here. Anything you do, always make a copy. Um, fortunately, I didn't have to edit anything here. Um, and then Fusion's crashed on me while doing this. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was a config. Uh, that I set in Fusion, which obviously you want to do, right? You don't want to be editing this post. Um, Fusion keeps adding stuff. I noticed they added another feature that I'll, I'll probably make another video on. But um, but again, didn't have to edit the post, but just wanted to document, okay, I got here, I searched through it, found the spot. Um, fortunately, it was just a, uh, it, it was in Fusion. Um, but Fusion, again, has crashed. So anyhow, that's it. I hope that uh, helps somebody. And it's January 1st, so Happy New Year to everyone. Um, hopefully we, we learn a ton this year. Thanks.